Huh? Akira's not here. And nothing has been prepared for dinner. Forget Akira! Where's dinner? Instead... I hear something in the distance. Is that the sound of taiko drums? And flutes, too. Oh, there you are! I went to your room, but you weren't there. Uh, Makoto. Do you hear that sound? Yeah, it's got a real folklore feel to it, but it's kind of exciting, too. What is it? <laughs> There's a festival at a nearby shrine today. A festival? Although it's not a very big one, they put up stalls on the shrine grounds, and that's all. They have festivals at shrines, right? That's right! We get to see a summer festival! Yay! Yes, Japan has traditionally been a polytheistic country, with the people all honoring different gods. So, a variety of shrines holds festivals targeted at people in their own regions. Uh. Do you know the Japanese term Hare no Hi? Hare no Hi. Isn't it about the weather? It's derived from the same concept. To put it simply, you take a day to recover the energy spent during your everyday life. In other words, you gradually use up your energy day after day. So the day you spend restoring it is called Hare no Hi. Blessed days like weddings are also considered Hare no Hi. So today is a Hare no Hi, I take it. That's right. This is the day you would go to the shrine and restore your dwindling spirit. Then the reason that sound is so exciting is because of the Hare no Hi, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, does that mean we're going to that festival now? Right! Then let's get going. I want to see a Japanese festival. Well, about that, would you mind heading to the festival plaza on your own? What? You don't want to come with me? Is it because I'm black? And by that, I mean not at all. <laughs> Ugh. I, I don't know where I was going with that. I just remember that line from Good Burger that was actually one of the only funny lines in the movie. And that's the first thing that popped out of my mouth, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> On my own? Yes, the two of us have something to do. We'll meet you there later. Oh, don't worry. The area isn't that complicated. You have a map on your smartphone, don't you? I do, but... Then you'll be fine, right? Well, itadashai! Uh, oh, wait! And apparently she pushes me out the door. She just forced me out... Oh! Well, I guess she really did. What was the thing they had to do? Maybe we'll find out later. Well, maybe it's better not to force the issue. Someone once said, you're better off not pursuing the secrets of women. That's probably true in Japan as well as my country. Oh well, they said they'd come later, so I guess I'll just go to the festival by myself. All alone. Uh, turn here. Then a left here. Huh? I'm lost! Well, it's no surprise. I mean, all the backgrounds have been the same so far, just a picture of the night sky! You're joking, right? I got lost in a random residential area, which apparently exists in the sky. No, I guess it's because this is a random residential area without any landmarks that I got lost. True, I'm one of those people who uses landmarks, too, so... At a time like this, you have to keep calm for now. I made it back this far, so... Let's go to McDonald's instead! It's my phone. Hello? Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in front of the station. The station? What are you doing there? Well, I got a little lost. What are you even doing? Aki-chan, give it to me. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I misread that as myself, so that was, uh, uh <laughs> um, <laughs> I apologize for that, I misread stuff and I made it sound like I was cement. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I misinterpreted just a simple line like that, okay. <clears throat> Getting sidetracked again, but I'm sorry, I try, okay? Hello, it's me. Oh, Makoto. You arrived at the shrine before you. Are you okay? Can you make it here by yourself? If you can't, we could meet you at the station. I'll be fine. I can make it by myself. Really? You'll know you're getting close once you see a lot of people heading off for the shrine. So it should be recognizable. Yeah, I understand. I'll go there now. I screwed up. This time, I won't get lost. Two hours later. 
I see I got on the wrong street the first time if I turn here. I can hear the music from the festival! Makoto and Akira. Ah, you made it! This way! Ah, uh, ow. Excuse me, I have to go clean up all the blood spilled everywhere! Okay, I'm back. My thoughts exactly, me. What's wrong? Kimono! Wonderful! That's amazing! Why are you dressed like that? Why? We put them on, obviously. At home. <laughs> I thought we surprised you. That's why we, I asked you to meet us here. But then you went and got lost. You really are hopeless. I want that mask, by the way. I want to wear that on the side of my head. If I was there, I'd just... I'd just take it off Akira's head and put it on my head, just like... And i just... Have a smug grin on my face. I don't know. I'm sorry. But it's still a really nice surprise. But why are you dressed like that? It's customary for girls to dress like this for festivals. Really? But it's a waste to only do it for festivals. You should wear them all the time! Oh, I wouldn't want that. It's pretty uncomfortable. Really? Yes, the OB is very tight, so it's much more uncomfortable than you'd think. And if we wore this every day, it wouldn't feel special. That's true. Even so... It really is great! Ah! So, what do you think? About what? About how we look. Is it, um, weird? You look really cute, of course! He said it. Isn't that nice, Aki-chan? I wasn't asking because of that. Besides, I bet he wasn't talking about me. He was talking about you, Onei-chan. No way! I, I, I meant you, you both look really cute. <sighs> I see, so I'm included as well. Thank you. Now that I look again, there are a lot of girls here in Kimono, but these two, out of all of them, are the only ones that are visible on the screen. They could really turn a lot of guys' heads looking like this. Japanese women really do look great in kimono, huh? That's right. However, what you said is incorrect. What is? This isn't a kimono, it's a yukata. I could have told you that in-game, Sean. Shame on you. Yukata? How's that different from a kimono? Shame on you! Well, it's a type of kimono. I suppose you could call it a simple kimono. A simple kimono? Yes, with a kimono, you have to wear several layers beneath it, and the obi is very difficult to tie. They're quite difficult to wear. I couldn't put one on by myself. I see. By comparison, a yukata is easier to put on. It's also cooler than a kimono, and you can put it on by yourself. They were originally used after a bath or as pajamas. If you stay at an inn with a hot spring, they typically provide you with a simple yukata to wear. You've never seen it on TV? As she mentions it, whenever I see a hot spring in a Japanese guidebook, there's always a picture of a woman wearing a kimono. I see, so it's called the yukata, huh? Of course, the yukata we wear to events like these are much more elegant than the hot spring ones. There are a bunch of cute obi nowadays, too. That's true. I see people with a lot of different patterns on their yukata and obi. Anyway, it's a festival! A festival! You want to look around for a while, right? Right, there's no point in staying around and taking, talking forever. I want to eat a candy apple even though I already have one in this picture! Which is a really nice CG, by the way. The, the artist worked really hard on this. I could tell. And it, it turned out great. That sounds nice. I think I'll get some cotton candy. Even though I have some too! Yeah, you mentioned there are a lot of stalls here. Lots of food and lots of not food. Not food? What was that consist of? It's that stall over there. Huh? Crap, I got separated from them! Hey, Makoto Akira! Oh, well, I guess I'll wander around for a bit. Two hours later. Oh, there he is! Akira, thank goodness! Oh, Nate, John, this way! Jeez, you disappeared the second we took your eyes off. Eyes off you, yeah! It's almost like we didn't go anywhere, considering the background's the same. Really, we searched everywhere. You two still seem to be carrying a lot of food, though. 
<laughs> oh no, these are still the same things we were eating earlier. Oh well. As long as we're here, we want to enjoy ourselves a bit. A bit, huh? Now, now, don't give us that look. We can eat it all together, right? That's right. It'll get cold if we don't eat it. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we need to worry about cotton candy and a candy apple getting cold. But then again, they could be having takoyaki or something. Because Lord knows takoyaki should be served warm. Piping hot. That's true. It all smells really good. And they're all foods I've never seen before. What should we eat first? Well, it's a festival. It's got to be this. Or those little ball things. It's takoyaki. Takoyaki. There are pieces of octopus in a flour-based batter. Octopus? You mean those wriggly things? That are the main stars of hentai movies? Lots of foreigners don't like eating octopus, do they? Really? But it's so delicious. Just try one, it's good. Really? Well, what if we do it this way? Say, ah. Oh, I just did it reflexively. Uh, I'm expecting that she just shoved it in and I scream, ah. Uh, chomp. And it's hot! <laughs> hot water! What? what are you talking about? Piping hot takoyaki leaves you panting while you eat. It's the best kind. It's certainly tasty. The flavor of the sauce is a great match for the texture of the octopus. But it really is hot! <laughs> Drink some of this. Thanks. Huh? What is this? How do you open it? Use this little tool. Put this protruding section over the bottle cap and apply pressure inward. Inward like this? Whoa, it overflowed! I've got to drink it fast! What's going on? I tried to drink it, but now nothing's coming out! Look carefully at the bottle. Look at it. Oh, there's a glass bead in the neck. When I tilt the bottle over to drink it, the glass bead stops the opening. Yes, yeah, so you see the dent in the bottle? Try to drink it so the bee gets caught in there. So it gets caught in there, huh? Okay. It's not easy. Glug, glug. Mmm. It's sweet and tasty soda water. I, I really don't like watered-down beverages. Every time I have to go to the freaking... It, oh, can't, can't say that. I mean, the cafeteria at my university. Mm, they have the... They have the lemonade stands there, but... At late at night, it's always mostly water, so I get a good piping cup of... Ice-cold cup of water with a hint of lemon in it, which is nasty. I'm sorry. It's called ramen -ay. ramen -ay. It's diluted lemonade, apparent. Um... Well! I guess my conversation was somewhat relevant after all. That's true, but why does it have such a weird shape? When you carbonate the contents, the pressure forces the glass bead to seal it, see? I see, so you could recycle it even if you only had the bottle. I hear ramenade bottles originate in England. You ever seen one? That's right, this is my first time, yeah? Unfortunately, it seems England no longer produces them. But as you can see, Japan continues to make them. It's mysterious, isn't it? The only change is the shape of the bottle, but somehow that makes it tastier. Well, what shall we eat next? There are candied apples, cotton candy, yakisoba, and... How much did she buy? Phew, I'm so full, I'm about to bust out of my obi. I wouldn't do that, you're probably not wearing much under there. Or maybe nothing at all, but then again, I hear that's just an urban myth. <laughs> oh, Aki-chan, how could you eat all of that? Times like this, I always ended up overeating by accident. I understand the atmosphere can affect the taste. They wouldn't be that tasty if you ate them normally. But they're nice to eat in a setting like this, huh? Wow, I'm impressed that you understand that. Was she praising me or dissing me just now? Which one? <laughs> well, now that my stomach's settled down, do you want to walk around the festival one more time? Of course, we didn't look around much earlier and there's a lot of neat stuff here. Well, shall we split up then? Who do you want to walk around with, me or Akira? Good question. I... Well, you guys picked this route for a reason, I believe so, so if you know why you picked the route A, then you obviously know who I'm going to pick. Really like that mask though, but... I... Oh, sorry, phone call. Hello? Uh, 
Yeah, I'm here. Oh, I see. Now? Um... Did you promise to meet a friend? It wasn't a promise exactly. More like, want to go together or something like that. It's okay, don't worry about me. Just go, okay? But... He said it was fine, so why not go? Uh, right, well, if you insist then... Sorry! And her art vanishes from the picture. Oh well! I'm sorry. Huh? You would have rather been with Akechan, right? That's not true. I was actually thinking that I wanted to go with you from the start. Really? Really. I see, I'm glad to hear that. Makoto. Well then, I must do my best to escort you. Uh, sure, please do. For now, let's walk around and check out everything that catches our eye. Hmm? The camera panned in on you! What? Is that little pool... Are those tropical fish? It's full of tiny fish. Oh, that's the Kingyo Su Sukui. Kingyo... Oh, goldfish, huh? Yes, there are goldfish in that tank. You use a tool called a poi. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Which is a ring with a thin paper over it to try to flip them into a small bowl. The goal is to try to get as many as you can without breaking the paper. Huh. Would you like to try? Let's see, it's a special occasion, so I think I might. Scoop out one of those little goldfish with the spoon thing, huh? That's easy! Here, a hundred yen for three poi. This is how much it costs in real life! Ah, it broke! And who the heck is that guy next to you, Makoto? Oh well. I'm sure that uh, he's probably just trying just as hard. Hmm. Oh, too bad. The paper is thinner than I expected, and it breaks the second it gets wet. The trick is to scoop the fish with the center of the ring while keeping the paper as dry as possible. I know that, but it's harder than I thought. Ah, it broke again! In the end, I didn't even scoop one. It's quite difficult when you try, isn't it? You there, the foreign man. Take this. Huh? Can I? Usually I only give out the ones you scoop, but this is a special occasion. Thanks! I got a goldfish! That's nice. We have a fishbowl at home, so we'll put him in there when we get back. If it hasn't already died by then! Don't deny it. They die all the time. They Blech. Speaking of which, I don't think I've had a goldfish since I was a kid. It's nice to have something suited to the summer season. That's called furyu in Japanese, right? <laughs> you're so knowledgeable. I do study, after all. I think we've had a good look around now, right? Yes, well, was it satisfying? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Then one more thing before we leave. Done! What's that? Fireworks. I got them in that lottery earlier. Fireworks? They seem a little small, though. One popular Japanese pastime is playing with handheld fireworks on summer nights. These in particular are Senko ha Hanabi. Senko Hanabi? Major Hanabi. That's an empty space behind that. Let's see what there. Uh, I, I know Senko is the word for, like, a, a educational major. I'm familiar to be... The being that, I'm sorry. I lied it. It's kind of plain. The principle of Senko Hanabi is to enjoy it as long as possible without letting the fire at the tip go out. See the little sparks take all kinds of shape. It literally looks like a flower, doesn't it? Oh, so it's a sparkler. Just as I thought. Beautiful. Yes, very. The firework is, of course. But so is Makoto. Yes, I know. Makoto is beautiful. Senko Hanabi are slender, fleeting things. When you look at them this way, it makes you think, Ah, uh, summer is coming to an end. Yeah, I think I understand. Hey. Hmm? There are only a few days left before you leave, right? Yeah. Then I wish the summer would go on forever that way. Makoto. Just kidding. Sorry, I got a little carried away. Right, the Senko Hanabi. I have some more, so you should try one too. Yeah.
Japanese festival. It was full of things I'd never seen or eaten before. They said there are a lot of festivals in the summer and fall. Sightseeing is nice, but going to a regional festival like that was fun too. And I feel that I got a lot closer to Makoto and Akira. Well, what shall we do tomorrow? We will find out tomorrow!